Well, I am Josh Runda. I'm the defensive coordinator at Bluffton University. Uh, Coach linebackers here as well. I want to thank Coach Banstra for having me uh, on his YouTube page again. Uh, I want to thank all of the coaches that reached out from the first video uh, that, was, that was posted about the three high safety defense. Um, and hopefully I was able to answer some of those questions. It's been great to connect with coaches uh, all over the place. Um, so I'll provide my contact information at the end of this video. If you have any questions, uh, certainly don't hesitate to reach out, willing to share uh, more tape, more ideas. Um, and if you guys got anything good, which I'm sure a bunch of you do out there, share those concepts with us as well. Um, today, I'm going to talk uh, some more of the three high safety defense and really get into uh, the run fit side of it. Uh, in, the, in the first video, talk through some of the coverage aspects of it. Um, today, going to touch back base on fitting up 10 personnel run, um, some 11 personnel gap scheme. And then I also want to get into some of the 12 personnel run fits uh, that we have out of it. Some of the questions come when, when you look at the three high safety defense is, well, that looks great uh, against the spread stuff, but how are you guys lining up to defend some of the 12 personnel, some of the pro formation stuff, 21 as well. So I wanted to talk through just some of those base run fits for us, um, and so we'll get started. So first, uh, it's just our general concept, uh, and talked through a little bit of this before, but the personnel for us, um, we have gone to a, a lot of playing the four I zero, four I front. And so for us, we're gonna play four I zero, four I up front. We're gonna play our mic uh, in a true zero right over the nose and, and play the A to A with the nose. Uh, and then we apex our two outside uh, backers. And that would be for us, Sam, and then our will. Our star is going to align at nine to 10 yards based off uh, really ability of the kid uh, at that position. And then we play with a boundary safety, a strong safety, and obviously corners uh, out on the outside. So base concept out of 10 personnel, we're going to take away the four inside gaps with the end, the nose, the end we're going to use the star to fit to play the quarterback as a fifth defender in the box and then we're going to play with what we refer to as hold and fold players um, and so we always want to be three to two to the read side so in this instance here with the back set to two strong we know pre-snap that the sam is going to be the hold player he's going to be the read of the quarterback off of uh, the run pass option stuff and because of that We'll use the will linebacker as what we determine a fold player, and he's going to play that backside C gap. We still we still remain two for two to the backside, but not as concerned. Uh, we want to be three for two to the eyeballs of the quarterback to the side that he's opening up here with the mesh point side. So take a look at a couple of clips in defending this. So um, here. 4i, 04i, you'll see from the tight, not great alignment here by our end, which is why he ends up uh, in the C gap. Now, the star is uh, going to make him right as he comes downhill. But here, the team's in piss, not predetermined on our hold and fold player until we get the action right here. And so now we know eyes of the quarterback uh, are on our will linebacker in this instance. So we know he is the read of the progression. Uh, so we're going to hold him. He's just going to flat foot, bounce his feet, so we can stay three for two here uh, to the RPO. We can take that star now, and we can play him really to the quarterback and play him as a C-gap defender to this side. We'll play again. We'll take away the four gaps inside between the end nose, Mike, and end. And backside here, we can fold this guy in right now to become the C-gap player. The bubble here to me is just window dressing. And again, we're still two for two. Typically, we're going to be in a read style coverage here, playing some version of cover two, maybe cover four, um, depending on some alignment. So here the corner would drive the bubble if they did come back to this side. But we're going to get the extra fit man, our sixth defender in the box. Sam ends up making a nice play here, and we end up getting a TFL from the 3-1 box. Again, alignment here by the end, we want – his outside shoulder pad on this tackle's inside shoulder pad. For our four eyes, we're going to have our eyes and read off of the guard. We're going to play hands to the tackle. Uh, again, 
Not great here, but you'll see the star as he tracks his path here backside, ends up making really the end right on this. And then to the front side of the zone play, you'll see here our nose playing um, what some people refer to as a lag technique. He's going to play backside off of that zone step, which would make the mic the front side A gap defender, the end doing a good job here, eating up the B gap and forcing the football to bounce to the C gap. Look at it again, really same formation. Now they're stacking. Um, and so we're still good here with the apex by the outside linebackers. Mike's still playing A to A off of the nose. Okay, again, the quarterback's opening to the will side here. So we're gonna count him as a read man. We're gonna stay three for two to this side. We're gonna use the star to become the court player. And in this picture, we don't do a very good job here with the fold player. Luckily, the zone cuts back and comes to the backside, but you can see the path of the star, which referred to as, a, as really the, the third high safety, that star player tracking the running back as he comes downhill. So take away the inside gaps here. It's a good job by the mic playing off of the nose. Really good job here by the four eye now. Same kid cleans up his mistake and gets himself in that gap now, rips underneath of it, causes a running back, cut, wind all the way back, and we end up with good position. Getting a one back power here. So now we're getting the pool. Our rules for our inside backer on this, if we get pool, we're just gonna scrape. And so now there's no inside gap for the mic to take away. They're pulling, they're taking the gap, they're fitting it on a different. Again, in this picture here, we're gonna hold the outside backer here. We're gonna fold the backer here with the quarterback. We can see his back, so we know we can fold into it right now. And so you'll see from the tight, the star now is going to go to the puller side. He's reading the triangle here, reading guard, center guard. You've got the mic working over top, scraping. We end up in pretty, we've got the puller fit. We've got the fold player on the outside of it with the star track and really the backside hip of the running back. So now we get into some 11 personnel fitting. Base rules for our inside linebackers, our Mike and our Will, <clears throat> we're gonna read off the guard and, and we really try and keep this simple. Those guys can play fast. They're gonna read, if they get a step down, then we just do what we call, they're gonna go out and they're gonna scrape right off of the hip of that down block. If they get uh, a step out by that guy, then they're gonna go inside of that guy and if they get a puller they're going to just scrape right across so you can see here if we were to get this power look which a lot of teams won't wrap inside against us uh because we're playing the the five technique here they're going to try and wash down and pull outside of that thing so again with the star reading guard center guard he's going to be the inside fit of the puller we're going to use the boundary safety as the tackler in this instance and the that hard step down so he's got to bury himself and get inside of the tackle and the way that we look at this is we're really getting uh post snap to a four two box with the will becoming essentially our three technique right would really just be our tackle in this picture here but it's just happening uh post snap for us and then that star is really coming down and he the will so we've got the mic and the will in the box and we can still use the boundary safety in the fit we're still three for two here playing uh, some version of either cover two, cover four, same thing on the back side. So here's a, a decent look at it. So we're going to get the motion across, which is going to set us back into 30s. And so here we don't, we get a front side fold pull. And so this team had ran power a couple of different ways, but here they're going to uh, pull the front side guard, which is fine. 
little bit different now for the will. He's going to get inside of that thing. You can see the boundary safety, who's number 11 here, is rolling to go fit that guy, and we end up getting a crack. So the boundary safety, we get a lot of crack replaced. In this instance, we've got to get the corner now fitting to the hip of the crack block. You can see the star in this picture, seeing the pool going to the pool side. And the will ends up making a really nice play on this look. But if this thing continues to bounce, we should have the corner on the crack replace, fit into the hip, and becoming the extra player. You can see 20 here, not getting a great read off of it. He should be right on the hip. As soon as contact's made, then we're going to replace. Power again. So you can see a lot of bodies getting to the football here. Not a great job by the Mike. He's getting, should be scraping across. The star coming down. You've got the boundary safety fitting on the outside, just like he should be. We've got the star coming down. The puller in this instance gets eaten up by the will. So we end up with two players for the ball carrier. Don't love the feet of the star here as he hops want to vice this thing we've got two for one we should vice tackle this thing keeping it on our inside shoulder pad and playing the ball power look again so with our safety our, our boundary safety here reading off of the tight end we we would like a flat foot read now this is this is some year one, um, and, and this was good to coach off of. You'll see we get everything that we want, except for we're backpedaling the tight end block in here. So the star is going to read to the pool like he does, and we should have two for two here. But we get a little bit of a slow read. But you can see the will in this picture, he gets stepped down, so he's going to go out. Right here, we've got the five technique and the C gap doing a good job, forcing the ball to go where it wants to go, where we want it to go. Now we just need the star to fit right inside the pool and the boundary safety to fit right outside the pool, and we're in good shape. So still 11 personnel looking at uh, some split zone fit. And so even off of zone, our, our rules can still really remain the same. So we're going to play that lag technique here with the nose off of this. Even with the zone step as, as the guards, we would consider that a step down. So the mic is going to fit on the outside, getting the zone step here um, on, the, on the front side of the zone action. The wheel is going to fit A gap. The end's going to stay in the C gap. And with the tight end coming across the formation in this picture, we can now pull the boundary safety down to become the B gap fit. And so as we get this wham block coming across uh, from the tight end, we, we want the end to spill. Doesn't always happen, but we would like for him to spill. And then we're just going to fit the star off of it. So if he spills it, the, the star is going to play the ball inside out and he'll fit to the outside of it. If he, if he doesn't get it spilled and he fits on the outside of the wham block coming across, then the stars just got to play off of it and play to the inside. So we get a decent look at it here. Good look from the tight. And so rule wise here, the wheel gets stepped out. So he's coming inside right now. Those in a good good position here. The mic is getting stepped down. So he's coming right off that hip here. Okay, expecting the tackle to come down on him. Which we get. The wham block comes across. Now the end doesn't spill this one. He ends up on the outside of it, but we've still got the free player in this instance as the star. It's playing and tracking the football inside out. He's the unblocked man. We get a nice run through here with the will playing fast. He sees that step out, so he's going to go inside right off the hip. And the will makes a nice play off of the split zone action. 
So we're going to get split zone again here. Okay. My Will linebacker is probably not going to be happy for putting, putting this clip on here. Nice job. Creates penetration. Forces the back to, uh, to bubble up. But you can see in this picture here, the star playing inside out. He's a free player over the top. We'll get a great run through here by the Will. His go out, so he comes inside right now. Backside gap in this instance is going to be taken care of by the boundary safety who's rolling down. Again, he's getting the crack block, so if he gets cracked, we're just going to replace to the hip here with the corner. And we should be plus one in the box and be in decent shape. Split zone again, 11 personnel. So identifying and keying off of the tight end. Tight end goes across, so it pulls boundary safety down. C-gap defender here, outside force. Decent job by the end. He gets the ball back to where it needs to be. And again, the star is going to track over the top. So he's just playing the backside hip of the running back. The Will does a nice job here. He gets stepped out, so he's going in. The Mike's getting stepped down. So again, he's got to bury himself right underneath this tackle pad. See the wham block coming across. He fits to the outside. That's fine. The star, again, his true gap fit here would be right inside of this, right inside the tight end. But we don't want to overcoach the position. We want to let him be a football player. We want to let him just track the near hip of the running back. Drill. Um, you know, I've had the question, what are some of the drill work that you do uh, with your star player? For us, an individual, he goes with the linebackers um, just because of his footwork. And one of the best drills for that guy is really just the rabbit drill, where we're tracking and closing ground uh, of the ball carrier uh, as those as the uh, guy goes across, close out, play the near hip. And that's really the biggest thing with the star is he's got to get good at closing the air out of the bag and playing to the backside hip of the ball carrier. So now looking at tight end stuff, some 12 personnel fits. Um, this is a, a uh, formation that, that we see quite a bit uh, with the two tight ends on the football. So in this instance, we're going to stay 505. Our Sam is going to count outside in. He's still a field player for us. But in this instance, his number two is a tight end. So we don't need him removed. We're just going to walk him down. So uh, a lot of this stuff will look like a four-man front. Our linebackers are still going to play in 30s. The star, same progression here guard center guard and then we've got the boundary safety and really the strong safety off quarters principles reading off of uh, their tight ends in these pictures so basic fit and what we're going to look at here is just an inside zone um, play that we get off of this again the nose is playing that lag technique so he's going to fall back play the a gap the mic on this is going to get stepped out so he's going to go in the end's going to take the c gap the Sam's going to be the force player in the D gap. And so as you look at it, the open gap is the B gap, which becomes the star's fit. The wheel's getting stepped down, so he's going out. Uh, and they're going to arc release their tight end off of this deal. So the end is going to squeeze that block here by the tackle, and he's going to be the back player with the boundary safety playing number two weak. So we get a nice run through here by the will. You can see the arc release here by the tight end. So we no longer need the boundary safety in the run fit. He'll go, he'll go play uh, the tight end in this picture. The end squeezing down. He's the quarterback player. And we end up in good shape. So you see here. The wheels are reading right off that guard. As soon as that guy steps down, I mean, we're coming as tight as we can right off of his hip. Able to get uh, a decent amount of run-throughs if we can beat that tackle with speed who's blocking down, which we do here. 
Will does a decent job of dipping his shoulder on this guy. And he ends up making the tackle. We're gapped out to the front side. And so in this instance, the, the mic is, is wrong because he goes to the side and the initial step by the guard here is out. This guy's stepping with his left foot out. The mic should fit on the inside. The, the good part about the three high stuff is we can use that middle safety as the guy that's going to make somebody right. And so in this instance, he's going to make right by playing the backside hip of the ball carrier, playing to the open gap here to the front side of the zone fit. Going to get inside zone. Here's a pretty good picture of the star fitting up right now to the gap and playing his B gap here. Side zone look. Now, off of this, this team did not arc release their tight end. That's fine. Because we're playing the five technique, we can't ask that guy if we're not getting the arc here. He's no longer the end man on the line of scrimmage, so we're not going to ask him to play the quarterback. In this picture here, if you got like the zone read look out of it, we'd ask the boundary safety. And then even off the here, you've still got the boundary safety for the quarterback. So we take all the gaps. We let the star play inside out and play to the near hip. And as the ball goes right to his gap, we end up in good shape here. Don't I, I don't love the end here. In, uh, uh, it gets reached. So if he's going to, we really need him to be here with the star fit into that B gap. I think he makes a decent play coming off the block, but he's initially reached off of this deal. But you can see a lot of times the star is really accounted for free player over the top. And so now another two tight end look that we'll get. Looking at ISO now. And so out of this ISO look, same rules for the Sam here. One, two, counting outside in. So he's going to walk down to the line of scrimmage, playing a, a essentially be, becoming our nine technique, still playing five zero five. And again, off of our base rules for our inside linebackers, we're getting stepped down here. So the mic is going to fit off of that hip. And, and really, a lot of times what's going to end up happening is he's going to become the spill player. Now, if the mic fits tight off of this and he doesn't get the spill, then we can use the star as a spill player because we've still got to this side, really, the strong in the run fit reading off of look here. Um, so the will is going to get stepped down. So he's going to go out, fit the backside B. Got the nose here playing the double. And then you've still got the boundary safety in this instance, really fitting that a gap here as he rocks down to become a cutback player. So here's the ISO and this one, here's an instance where the mic is coming tight off of it. Here's the mic. He's coming tight off of this and he's actually going to spill the guy as well. So the star reading why again if the mic doesn't spill it the star would and then you see the strong safety rolling down so we would just spill and fit it outside to the strong safety boundary safety getting involved in the run fit here as well He's got to keep his head up but overall fitting to the right spots and so in this instance here the out he gets that the initial step here by the guard is down. The guy steps with his left foot first. Okay. So the will can go out. That's fine. We'll end up fitting that a gap here with the boundary safety. You're getting the ISO look here with 12. And again, the mic screaming off of the hip of his down block. So he's fitting tight inside of here. And he actually ends up spilling the ISO block. Still good to this side. You see the safety rolling down in good shape. And so we've got extra hats in the box. Another two tight end look here. 
Uh, and in this look, getting a version of power, rule still going to apply. The will in this look is going to get stepped down, so he's going to be out skating the hip right off of that guard. The star here, right, seeing guard center guard is going to fit off of the puller. We're still going to use the boundary safety into the run fit, fit into the outside. The end in this instance, this kickout's going to happen quick. He's going to play side fit of it. The mic is getting pulled, so he's going to scrape. We've walked the Sam down again into that nine technique, counting outside in, one, two, his two's on the ball. So we're going to play him in that nine technique. And again, we can an extra cutback player with the strong safety. So we get a decent look. Now in this picture here, the pooler actually ends up getting spilled by the will. Really gets bumped off by his own guy. Had he not gotten bumped off, we would still have a spill player with the star and still have the boundary safety as. So even if he didn't get bumped off here, we're still two for two with the star spilling the guard and then the boundary safety rocking down to become the fit man and become the tackler. So always wanting that guy to play inside out. And if he gets a pooler, he's going to take the inside shoulder pad. He's going to spill technique that player. So same formation, but now we're getting ISO. So again, the star is going to fit to the ISO block. Sometimes that guy is going to be eaten up here by the will, but we don't necessarily need it to. And you can see that these two rolling down right now, boundary safety and the star. So we would have the star fit the ISO block. We'd have the boundary safety on the outside to become the tackler. But in this instance, we get a two for one where the will fits his gap and he also takes away the ISO block here. Again, getting the crack here. So we got to get the replace rule for us. Don't replace until there's contact. So at this point now, there's contact so we can replace to the hip. Really good initial read here by the boundary safe playing fast, just got to keep his head up and make the play. But you'll see here from the tight, good eyes here by the star. Good job by him tracking that near hip of the ball carrier, playing everything inside out. And had the ISO block not gotten taken away here by the will, he would fit that, and you still have the extra player as the boundary safety uh, within the scheme. So I hope some of that information um, was helpful, was useful. Uh, and I think the three high, it can be a great look against 10 personnel, 11, uh, 12. We fit 13. We fit true pro 21. Uh, this defense to fit a bunch of different formations, um, just getting creative with, with some of the different things that you can do with it. Uh, but as you begin to draw some of this stuff up, you can see how the will um, will, will a lot of times become essentially your tackle within the defense and your star replaces that guy becoming your will, essentially getting back to what our base defense here, which is a 4-2-5 four, uh, four, concept. So this is my contact information. You can email me. Um, this is my personal cell, so you can text me, call me uh, with any questions. I also have Twitter uh, and put out some football content on there along with a, a lot of bad jokes. Um, so if you want to give me a follow on there and, and keep up to date with some stuff uh, or message me on that, uh, reach out. We'd love to answer any questions, talk football uh, with anybody that's willing to. Um, so feel free to reach out at any time. Thank you again.